In order to utilize the full potential of your header height control system, it is important to have it properly set up. The first thing that you need to do is perform a header ground calibration. In order to do that, go ahead and lower the header all the way down to the ground. So we'll go ahead and hold it down there for a few seconds. And then we're going to hit the header raise button. And notice the header comes up only part way. Keep holding it. And then hold it all the way in the upper position for a few seconds. So what you've just done is you've programmed the range of the position sensors on the header so the combine knows what range to accurately operate within. Now, the next thing you need to do to utilize your two cut points that you have is turn the separator on, then you want to turn the feeder on, and for this example we don't have the feeder drive shaft connected, then you want to lower the header to your first cut point. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it to about right there, and then all you have to do is hit number one and that programmed our number one cut height position. So say that's my down wheat position. Now I want a high cutting wheat position. So I'm going to manually raise the header up slightly and I'm going to hit the number two position. And that's all you have to do to program set point one and set point two. Now to switch between set point one and switch point two, I use the resume button. So if I push the resume button, now I'm operating in auto header mode set point one. If I press it again, now I'm in auto header set point two. Now say I'm cutting in set point two and I just want to raise the header slightly above where I'm cutting. I can use my fine adjust and I can bump the header up. And now it's automatically saved to that number two cut point. So that's how you utilize your two cut points. Now to use your third cut point, or I shouldn't say cut point, but your headland mode, you're going to set that height in the toolbox. So you go to toolbox, and then we're going to scroll over to our head one tab and see where it says maximum working height. There's a couple ways I can do this. I can manually raise the header to the height I want for turning around on the end, and then I can just hit cal. So the red line is where the header is currently at, or I can just use my finger and adjust this accordingly. So now I hit enter, and I can go back to my run screen, and if I hit the resume button one time, I'm in one of my two cut points. If I want to turn around, I use the shift button on the back of the propulsion handle in combination with the header resume, and that's going to put me into my headland or turnaround mode. So very simple to use your three cut points. And just to review again, the first thing you need to do is perform a ground calibration on the header, then manually position the header for your cut point one, and just push number one, then manually position the header for cut point two, and push number two, and then you need to go into the toolbox and the head one screen to set your third mode or your headland mode for cut point. So very simple to you and properly set up. Um, this is going to maximize your grain savings of your header.